Hello there everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Lost Vikings. In the last part we've cleared the first two levels of World 6 and now we are here. Welcome to the arena. You three have survived longer than I expected, but persistence alone will not save you now. Farewell my friends. <laughs> hey Tomato, why don't you come out and show yourself? Sh shut up Baliok. What are you trying to do? Get us captured right this second? No, but this guy is really getting on my nerves. Enough chatter, let's move out. Indeed, enough chatter. The password for this stage is 4RN4, which stands for Arena. There's this anti-gravitational field right here. And if we explore up here, we see a scorpion enemy. You know, one of those guys from World 3. And they are a bit difficult to deal with, because as I've already said, they are a bit um, difficult to block. But if they stand right beside Olaf... Ah, shit, did you see that? Yeah, if they stand right beside Olaf, then he can block them successfully. But if they are a little bit further away, then they will shoot their um, their bullets upwards and hit Olaf by um, firing their bullets on top of him, over his shield. And that kind of sucks. So we took some damage here. We can grab a yellow key here. We can already barely see the yellow keyhole up there. When we jump, we can, uh, wait, we can drop down, then we can go back up, and we've seen a, a food item briefly here, it's an apple. Oh, we barely managed to avoid hitting the electricity barrier up here. Yeah, and um, those anti-gravitational fields, if you land in them, uh, if you land in them, then you can avoid taking falling damage. Ah, shit. Yeah, I just fucked up. Wait. We have to press left at the right time in order to get here. There we go. Then we can shoot an arrow and hit this guy. And we've successfully dealt with this guy. As it says, rest in peace on his tombstone. Ah, but the tombstone disappeared as we switched over to Eric. Or basically as the, the screen was leaving the tombstone. But yeah, now we can use the yellow keyhole here. Uh, the yellow key on the yellow keyhole here to get a red key. That's always nice. Use a key to get to another key. That's what we call useless side quests. And we can uh, go up with Olaf here. And we see the red keyhole here. Now let me test something. Eric is the one who has the red key. Okay, there's nothing behind this wall. We will also have Baleor go up here. And look. Yeah, look at how fast. Look at how fast Eric can go up there. We barely caught that platform here. That's good. Otherwise, we would have taken falling damage. We'll have Baleok go down here really quick again. And have him go up. Use the key here to open the barrier up there. We'll have, go we'll have uh, Olaf go first again. I'm saving some time and uh, making two characters float up here at once. Again, we need to be careful here. Ah, oh, shit. I walked a little bit too far to the right. But I think because it was because I tried to hurry. Because if I if I would have waited any longer, then I believe that, that the scorpion would have started to hit Olaf again by firing above him. Let's eat the apple with Olaf to refill his health. He has a blue key now. And um, we see an electricity barrier up here to the right. And uh, again, an anti-gravitational field. If we go to the right, we see a scorpion who hit us twice. And who killed us, in fact. And we saw a shield medallion. Yeah, I, I really, really hate the beginning part of this stage. Um, I kind of forgot to, ma to mention the arena. This stage is special. We will see soon why that is. But for now, I failed horribly with that scorpion there. Ah, fuck. But yeah, we might as well give up here. I hate these, these enemies. They are fucking assholes, because they are so difficult to block. Almost went uh, first there with Eric. Let's do this differently. Let's go to the right here first. In order to activate the scorpion later. Wow, we blocked the first two bullets and then he hit us with the third. That was weird. Let's go up here quickly. I fucking hate those enemies. Holy absolute motherfucking shit. They are absolutely horrible. 
think we'll need to do this differently. I think the only way to do this semi-safely is to get behind them. Okay. Now, Baleok can take these guys out. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Didn't take any damage so far. That's very refreshing. We'll go up with Olaf. Oh, shit! How on earth did I take falling damage from here? Need to turn around here. God damn it. Grab the apple and eat it in midair while we're floating up. We're taking this guy out from afar. Now we can go up here with Eric. Yeah, Eric can go up those uh, anti-gravitational fields really fast. You can also drop right here. Olaf can glide here, which isn't useful. He will have to drop down in order to be able to go up here again. And we've heard the sound effect of... Ah, oh, shit! Of Eric. Uh, by the way, with Olaf. Uh, Baleo going up here as well. Man, I wanted to say so much about the stage, and now I I just suck at it. Okay, fuck it. Let's use my old strategy of how I always used to do the stage. I thought I could do it in a more sophisticated way, but nope, I'll just have to run. By which I mean rush through it. Yep, I'm just ignoring this enemy. He barely hit me, fucking asshole. Oh my fucking god! <sighs> Those scorpion enemies were... Hey! Haven't we been here before? Of course we have, and we'd better improve, and we're not going to get out of here. If they'd have more monsters for me to clobber, things would be going a lot better. No, Baleok, that's actually exactly the problem. Those monsters are killing us. Fuck's sake. I apologize for the horrible performance right away. These guys were much easier to fight back in World 3. Because there were... The spaces that you had to fight them were just much better. We barely survived so far. I... How the fuck did I do this back then? I didn't have that much trouble, I swear. Right fucking now when I'm recording. Fucking bullshit. 